Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Fenton Forest 4X map with me, see what he's so uh, here in Farming Simulator 19. Um, we are continuing with the corn harvest. It is still day one of autumn. I know in the last video I said I'd bring you back for day two, but I completely forgot that field 22 needed harvesting as well. So I'm currently in the process of doing that. I've got a guy up on the grass field at the top of the map doing grass bales. I've also got our bale wrapper up there. So I've been wrapping some bales to do some silage. Uh, I've also got the bale um, truck up there to pick the bales up. So I'm kind of bitting and bobbing everywhere. Also, I need to go ahead and state quite clearly again at the beginning of this video that this video is not for kids. It's not for children. That is not my intended audience, so to comply with YouTube's copper and stuff like that, I need to stress quite clearly, this video is not intended to be viewed by children. So any children watching the video, please turn it off immediately, and any parents letting their children watch this video, do so at their own discretion. I'm going to have to get that as a disclaimer warning type thumbnail type picture delete at the start of every video I think going forward last but not least we'll go and unload Mr. Tractor 3 who's back down here Kind of unloading them in a stagger sequence at the minute. Um, now, for those people who want to keep track of things, uh, if we zoom out, field 25 was the one we harvested in the last video. Right, so having harvested field 25, we've got just over 1 million litres of corn. Just over. And like I say, field 22 is even bigger. Oh yeah, corn harvest going very well. I'll unload this guy. This is the first time I've unloaded this particular harvester. I'm trying to stagger the harvesters out a little bit more. So there's actually like... So, for example, when Harvester 1 gets full, there should be a complete Harvester load behind him in lane 2, where Harvester 2 should be full waiting. So Harvester 2 should never catch up with Harvester 1, and Harvester 3 should never catch up with Harvester 2, if you know what I mean. And then that should hopefully prevent any issues with them getting bumped into one another. It's working okay. Working okay. Now I've also got a truck running and doing um, uh, silage for me. It's taking silage up to the BGA because if I put the hood back up we are down to $699,000. And obviously, we've got the issue that um, I need to harvest sugarcane this year. So I'm going to need a sugarcane harvester. And also up here, don't forget, we've got our cotton crop. So I'm going to need to harvest cotton as well. So that's two big purchases that we're going to need to make before the summer is out. Unless I go down the leasing road. Which I'm guessing I could potentially do. That may be the best option this year. Go down the leasing road. Rather than buying machines outright and spending a fortune on machines that I may not use. Ultimately for much longer. And the reason I say that 
is because I'm kind of thinking in my head at this point in time that as much fun as I'm having on this map in this Let's Play series, this map is a little bit perhaps too big for a single player. <laughs> you know, even with course play assisting me, you know, it's taking ages to get stuff done. It's also taken me a lot of time off camera to get stuff done, ready to prepare for the next video. Hence why we're still here in day one early autumn, because there was just no way I could get this done, get this harvesting done off of um, camera. So I'm thinking to myself that I might be possibly wrapping this series up soon and replacing it and replacing the, 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 the series with a new map in a little while when a new when a new new map comes out there's there's a map I'm thinking of doing a let's play on but actually there's a couple of maps I would love to do let's plays on let's be fit let's be realistic a couple of different locations um however <laughs> however what I have got to do is uh plan it out and basically what I'm thinking to myself is that for me doing single player series not multiplayer maps me doing a single player map like this one I need to go back to doing just standard maps standard size maps with regular standard size fields because that way I can get a little bit more done I'm also thinking from a single player perspective that maybe because I'm doing Seasons on Lone Oak, my multi, uh, uh, which is a, uh, obviously my streaming series. My next actual Let's Play recording series, like this one, I would probably go back to doing without seasons. Just so again, I've got more variety of things I can do on the map. I can plant stuff and I'm not, you know... Basically, I could be ploughing and harvesting, or harvesting and seeding in the same episode, you know. I have fields at different stages of operation. Don't get me wrong, I like seasons, I like playing with the seasons mod, and obviously from a gameplay perspective it is a lot more realistic um, I just don't think seasons makes for great viewing perhaps possibly from a spectator point and you know let me know in the comments down below what you think of seasons please what your view on it is because obviously when it comes to videos videos tend to all be pretty much Right, I'm a bit concerned now because this guy is starting to catch up with Harvester 3. Now, hopefully, he's just doing spirals. My one grain cart is doing a lot of miles around these fields. Oh boy, oh boy, is he doing some miles. This truck will then go off and uh, empty in a minute. There he goes. We'll run off to the silo. Once I'm emptying the next two vehicles. All this, all this aspect of like course play and stuff, I love. And it's a shame you can't get like the automated workers in the game to behave like this and be as useful as this. You know, I wish giants would put a bit more effort into the next iteration of farm sim to make the uh, workers more useful. Like I say, being able to have a, a, a guy just drive a truck from field to silo for you would be immensely useful. Huh?
Where we going? Mm. I think I'm going to unload Harvester 2 next before Harvester 1 for the simple reason that I think Harvester 1 is going to try driving down here doing his spirals <laughs> his spiral harvesting he'll probably drive all the full length down this field well, like I'm doing now then basically drive across the bottom here So my Axion 960 has finished doing the bail um, bailing. Very useful. All right, we'll go grab a little bit out of um, Harvester 1. Whilst we're still waiting for the truck to come back. And we'll go and take care of Mr. Baylor, move him out of the way. We'll start wrapping a couple more bales, I think. I think I've got 19 at the minute. 29. I think I can do 10 more silage bales. And then I'm going to pick the rest up as grass. Because again, that field just wouldn't turn to hay for me. So, um, ultimately, I've decided. But actually, the truck's back. So, I will empty the truck. I'll empty it as I go past. I'll go and get Mr. Grain Man. Probably perfect timing because obviously Mr. Combine has finished that row, so he is doing what I suspected he would do, which is come down here. Need to get this boy emptied.
once they're, once they're up once they're all on the up and down rows well, it's not going to be a problem it's just whilst they're in this slight transition phase now between doing the headland because i only did one headland this time I'm going to see if I can't run some interference. <laughs> I'm just going to stop in front of this guy for a second. We'll leave him, we'll leave him there for a second. Um, we'll hop up here quickly. Drive this way through the trees. Clear the course. So yeah, you can see we've got grass bales. I've got some silage done. Need to do the rest in a bit. I just thought I'd run interference for a second. Uh, harvest buddy. Okay, he's actually harvesting at that point. Then empty harvester number three again, quickly. You got full super duper fast. I think mate he will drive round us. At least I'm hoping he will. Harvest the two started on his straight rows. So he's all empty rain cart. Then I can go back and do that fella. 
Wow. Breaks. Yeah, he's kind of run back down along this edge for some reason. Why is he doing that? I'm just running interference at the minute to stop this guy. Because I kind of want Harvest to three. Not quite close enough. Um... Get out of this guy's way. He means he's not going to get full, is he? But, uh, you know what? I'm not going to empty him just yet. Gonna stop, pal. That's one way to stop him briefly for a second. Just empty him. brakes on him. Some more bales. Could do some more rapage. Quick bit of rapage. Whilst I'm waiting for work tool harvester number two to get full.
worked all to. It needs to be emptied. All right. Find work tool too. I mean, technically, I know I'm going faster than the combine at this point. But... Whilst I'm sat on loading, he will close very quickly. If he's not already doing so. <laughs> along with the fence. <laughs> He's already cutting a new row, so that's all right then. Obviously, the one's okay now. He's in the right place. Harvest to free that we need to shift a little bit. Oh, come on then. You can empty now, sir. Good on you. Good on you. He's still got some crop in him. This guy should go off and empty again then in a second. Magical, isn't it? Would you like me to drive down alongside you? Do a spot of emptying.
I was hoping you was going to keep going. Got a bit of time. Go and get Mr. Rapper. A couple of little bales while we're waiting for the truck to come back. A little bit of a respite now you do with the um, harvesters because when they're travelling down the length of the field, um, they're not using, they're not cutting, so they don't get full <laughs> quite as quickly now. They have a little bit of a break. Basically what I'm after is a full trailer load of bales. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this is eight. Nine and ten over there. Would be perfect. These can go into our far more useful little bale stores. Actually, I could have done another 20 bales, couldn't I? There's only going to be 29. have to do a few more bales then aren't I? I'm going to have to do 10 more. Get 39. We can work that though. We can work around that. <laughs> I can keep working at that. Right. Uh, my little unloader truck. Might have to run interference. 
for a second or two just to un whilst I unload this fella. That looks to me like Harvest of Three, I think. Carry on. Do a good job. Let's go and empty harvester two. Guess he's somewhere down the bottom of the field. Work tool one needs to be unloaded. Most to me then. I've only got room for a little bit. a little bit <laughs> 
So yeah, unfortunately these big fields take a long, long time to harvest. Incredible amount of time to work. So I'm probably going to carry on and do this now off camera. And when I bring you back, I promise you this time, this time it will be the second day of autumn. I promise you. So thank you for watching today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please go ahead, click that like button. If you're not already doing so, please remember to subscribe. And of course, leave your questions, comments, suggestions and feedback in the comments section down below. And like I said earlier in the video, let me know what you think about seasons. What is your view of seasons? I've been Siwadi Isan. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.